Okay, I'm going to show you guys how I do my Discord magic, as you call it. So first, you're going to have to download this program called Voice Meter Potato. I will include a link with it if you guys need it, if you want to try it. This is just, you know, educational right now. So with this, there is a free-ish download. Uh, you get a 30-day free trial right here, 30 days. Now it is donation worth, so you will have to donate a minimum of ten dollars to get a. I want to say it's a lifetime license. Don't hold me to it, but I mean for ten dollars, I mean it is a great app and it's fairly cheap versus buying physical mixer. It's going to cost you five hundred, so you know. It's worth it. So after that, you will need to download two more things. Uh, one of them will cost another five dollars. The first one is free. And it will be the VB virtual audio device right here. It's a, a VB cable. You'll download that, install it, extract programs, run the setup program in admin mode. Do not reboot just yet. You will click on this VB cable A plus B or A and B, whichever way you want to pronounce it. And then you will go to donate for download VB cable A and B for Windows. It'll cost $5 minimum. Again, this is donationware, so everything, all proceeds go to bettering the software, which honestly it is pretty good software in my opinion. So after you do that, you do the same thing you did for the first one. You will extract all the files, run the setup program in admin mode, then reboot. After you reboot, you will go down, search in your start menu whatever find vb audio and then click on voice meter potato that will launch this window right here you will have five sections that will say hardware input one two three four and five now you can rename these whatever you want just by right clicking on them then hit enter to save it and uh you'll want to set the first one to your microphone or whatever microphone you're using just click on that right there. So you'll want to rename this one Discord. So uh, just click on it and then select Cable Output VB Audio Virtual Cable. Now after that, you rename this one Xbox. And then you go find Cable A Output, click on that. And then up here, so you can hear everything that goes on, you will want to find your headphones or your headset and then find that one. It is crucial that you make that A1. Everything in here that says A1 is everything I can hear. So I can hear my browser from Chrome, I can hear Discord, I can hear Xbox, and I can hear my soundboard. Now you have these virtual inputs, voice meter VIO, voice meter auxiliary, and VIO3. These three are crucial. So your first one is your desktop audio. Everything you want your stream to hear, uh, if you want your stream to pick up your music, you just hit B1. All right. If you want to pick up your mic, go find your mic, B1. Same with Discord and Xbox and like I have on my soundboard. So your voice meter auxiliary, that would be B2. Everything that is set to go through B2 will play on these right here. So I have my soundboard set up to play through B2. I have Xbox set up to play through B2. And I have my mic set up to play through B2. So B2 is the channel that I run my Discord mic through. B3 is the channel I run my Xbox mic through. So I can talk to one person or, you know, if I wanted to have a private conversation in a party, which is rude as fuck, mind you, <laughs> I could do it. And vice versa, I could, you know, cut you off in the middle of a sentence. It's, it's a lot of power to wield, you know. With great power comes great responsibility. So moving on to Xbox. You'll want to set this up. I use the console companion because it is a lot simpler for parties. It's not all bullshit like the new app they're trying to force down your throat. In my opinion, it's still the way to go. So on your speaker, which is going to be what you hear, you're going to select cable A input for your speaker. And for your microphone, you're going to select voice meter VIO3 output. Now, what that'll do is Xbox, when they talk, will come through here. You have your headset checked there. It's going to play through your headset. If you have B2 checked, we'll get there in a minute. But that means Discord can hear them as well, and so can the stream if you have B1 checked. 
Now if we open up Discord. All right, so once you're in Discord, it's a lot simpler. You have these two drop down bars for your input and output device for Discord. For it to be picked up on your voice meter potato, you'll click on your input device and voice meter aux output. And now what that'll do, anything that has B2 checked will play through to Discord. So what that means is Xbox will now play through to Discord and my soundboard plays through to Discord. And so does my mic for Discord. Now for your output device, you wanna select cable input which is the same one we put right here. It's just opposite. Instead of output, it's input. And then once you have those set up, you know, let the Discord magic begin.